Hello, Sunday Joseph Adenuga, the pastor of Success Dimension Church, Ibadan, Nigeria. Is here with you to share the word of God with you again. This time around, I'm going to be sharing with you about the love of God. The love of God. What I'm about to share with you can be found in the book of First John, chapter one, chapter three, rather, from verse one. First John, chapter three, from verse one. He says, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. It does not yet appear what we shall be like, but we know that when he appears, we shall be like him. Now that is the word of God. It starts with behold. To behold means to watch, to watch out. To behold means to pay attention. To behold means to be careful to note. There's something you note. Note this. That's what it means to be old. God is saying, note it. Take care of it. Pay attention to the fact that what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. It's a great love the Father has bestowed upon us. It's great love that the Father has extended unto us. As many of us as has given our lives to Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, is reminding us of the depth of the love which the Almighty Father has showered upon us. Love that is unmeritable. Love that we do not deserve. That's why I say, what manner of love? When you compare with this, with the kind of love that humans have for each other, the kind of love that loves you in the morning and hates you in the night. The kind of love that is ready to help you now. And the very next moment is ready to spoil that help. The love of humans. Isaiah chapter 49 says, Can a woman forget her sucking child? That she should not have compassion on the son of her womb. He said they may forget, but I will not forget you. The love of man forgets. The love of man forsakes. But the love of God neither forgets nor forsakes. God loves you. He cannot forget you. It doesn't matter what you are going through. The fact that you are going through difficulties does not mean that God does not love you. The fact that you are going through difficult times now or that you are having problems does not mean that God has forsaken you. No, 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 no. God has not forsaken you. God has not forgotten you. God loves you. That's why David said, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You need to begin to declare like David, I will fear no evil. I will fear no devil. Because I know that God is with me. I know that God is on my side. I know he loves me. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That is love. When a man has been struggling on you, helping you, and your situation remains the same, he can get tired and forsake you and say, look, I have tried my best to help you and you cannot be helped. So I'm tired. I back out. Man can back out of you because of your problem. Man can get tired of you because of what you are going through. But God cannot get tired. God cannot back out of you. God loves you with an everlasting love and is not willing to abandon you now. He is not willing to leave you now. He is not willing to allow you to go now. He wants to help you. And he's going to help you. Are you going to release yourself to him? Are you going to allow him to be your Lord? Are you going to allow him to be your Savior? Are you going to allow him? If you are going to allow him, then you can enjoy this love. It is fresh love. It is deep love. It is overflowing love. It is love that is more than the love of woman. If you're a man or you're a woman, it's love more than the love of your lover. It is the everlasting love, the agape love, the love that does not put any condition, the love that does not attach any, any requirement. It loves you whether you are good. It loves you or whether you are bad. It doesn't matter whether you have money or do not have money. It doesn't matter whether you are tall or short. It doesn't matter whether you have fair completion or dark completion. It is a love that cuts across bar any barrier 
denominational barrier, religious barrier, color barrier, any barrier whatsoever. It is the love of Jesus. The love that made him to leave his position in heaven to die for you. The love of God. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love. I pray that Almighty God is going to give you wisdom to understand what I'm saying. May you receive wisdom to have an understanding of what I'm saying in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Once again, my name is Sunday Joseph Adenuga. I'm the pastor, the senior pastor of Success Dimension Church, okay, to know Ibadan, Nigeria. You can contact me on this number, plus 234-80-540-41462. My, my mail address is successdimensionchurch at gmail.com. You can visit my website at successdimensionchurch.blogspot.com. God bless you. The Lord loves you and I love you. Come back to this, to my website and listen to more of my telecast. God bless you. You can support this ministry by sending checks or donation in Western Union money transfer or you can use any uh, wire transfer to send money to the ministry. Write it in the name of in my name, Sunday Joseph Adenuga. We'll be glad to receive your, your, your offering. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.